Hello. Hi, I'm Gilda Otway, one of the teachers out at the BHU for the students who are just surrounding me here. And we've come... Right. <laughs> <laughs> we've come here today to learn about the restoration project at Hearts Creek. And we've learned a lot actually about the community that's been involved and the time frames and the success of the project and the complexities actually of the project as well. Mm. So what's the key thing you think you've learned today? Uh, to bear in mind the understand about the landowners in particular and where they're coming from and uh, choosing the right sort of plants. So those for me would be some of the two key things that I've learned today. Okay, thank you. Now we'll ask one of the students. We uh, ask the yoga exponent here. <laughs> what have, what's been? What's the key thing you've learnt today? Mm, I'm always quite interested in the social aspect of how you can change farmers' minds from the kind of more conventional farming of you know having no vegetation on their streams and allowing stock into the waterways, and how you kind of convince them that there are more kind of environmental methods and to do their farming and yeah and to I kind of know that their main priority is profit making a broad generalization so how do you convince them to do that and we haven't really learned exactly how to do that kind of um, yeah how it benefits them but if you can kind of get the money and health conversations going that is a yeah a big conversion. Very good. Finally, from Hong Kong. Actually, I, I have been told that entrance before, because I have went there to buy some honey from the Hans. <laughs> honey, I want to ask, does Mr. Hans contribute some to this? <laughs> to, this uh, to this one? I'm not sure, but not sure. Uh, possibly. His bees, most definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I learned. That's a fantastic place here. Oh, yeah. oh great. <laughs> Cheers. So there we go. Some, um, some views on the biodiversity of Hearts Creek. And um, we'll get back to you later. Bye now.